In this lesson, you will learn how to identify unit fractions by using shapes. Now, shapes can be used to represent one whole. Now, you can use any two-dimensional shape. You can use triangles, circles, squares, rectangles, whatever you choose. Now, you can take those shapes and divide them into different number of equal sized parts and that these equal sized parts would then represent fractions. So what this means is, let's just say you choose a triangle and you divide it into two parts. Let's draw that. Okay, so say I have a triangle here and I divide it directly down the middle. Now this isn't exactly equal, but let's pretend for a moment that it is. So if I have two parts, that means that each part represents one half of the entire triangle. So now I've used a shape to find a unit fraction, and a unit fraction always has one as the numerator. So let's take a look at this rectangle over here. We have one large rectangle. The rectangle represents one whole. It has been divided into four equal sections. So what happens if I shade one of these sections and I want to find out what fraction represents this shaded section? Well, how many equal parts are there? Well, there are four equal parts and there's one part that's shaded, which means that the shaded portion is one fourth of the entire rectangle. What this means is since the, the rectangle is divided into fourths, each of these areas represents one fourth. And this is a unit fraction. So you have four different sections, each representing one fourth of the total rectangle. You can think about it another way. If you think about the fact that a fraction is a numerator over a denominator, so let's just abbreviate that as numerator as n over denominator, which I'm going to represent by d. Now the numerator is the number of parts you're using or the number of parts you shade. And remember we shaded one part, so the numerator would be one. Now you put that over the denominator. The denominator tells you how many total parts you have in the whole. This whole rectangle has four total parts, so the shaded area is one fourth of the total rectangle. Let's look at another example. Here you have a circle, and let's take a look at it. The circle represents one whole. The whole has been divided into three equal sections. So if I shade in this section here in the bottom, and I want to find out what fraction of the circle this is, well, it's one section is shaded, and there are three total sections, so the shaded section is one third of the entire circle. Think about it with numerator and denominator, right? So numerator over denominator. Numerator tells you how many parts you use or how many parts are shaded. So you have one part that's used and then the total number of parts is three. So you get the same fraction. And again, this is a unit fraction that represents the fraction of this circle. So in this lesson, you've learned how to use shapes to represent fractions. Thanks for watching.